Dear friends, we are now seeing an MRI of a patient and you'll notice that the MRI is essentially normal. What have we done? We have started with the procedure known as epidurography, wherein our needle is within the foramen abutting the disc. As you can see in the initial flush, there is a filling up of the root and the traversing root and the epidural part. But you can see there is a clear surface area of the Cambens triangle. There is no filling of dye over there. Now we push the needle a little further deeper inside. And as you can see, it is filling up the root and it is creating a bulge in the posterior annulus. The same image when seen in the AP view, you can see that that white area that was the Cambens triangle is now filled up with dye in this flush image. Now we have advanced the needle a little further and you can see that the contrast is filling the rest of the disc. Here you can see the subannular position of the dilator with the tip just inside the annulus. This is an intra-annular position. After removing the dilator, you can see the cannula is looking half in and half out. This is the position that we initially take to observe the foramen from outside. Now what are we observing? We are observing a red angry PLL vasculature and some blue tissue which is degenerative tissue dyed with indigo carmine. I am removing a little bit of the foraminal fat to make the visual impression clearer. As we push our tube in and then pull it out, you can see the opening up of the tear and voila. What do you see? You see literally like a huge space worm bulging out towards you. This is the dirty nuclear material which was within the trapped annulus causing severe pain to the patient. Removal of this material, identification of the tear is important. Here you can see our instrument reaching to the opposite side, to the opposite foramen, transannularly. Here we have cleared out all tissue and you can see the annular tear. You can see the emptied out surface. We have conducted annuloplasty and closed this patient up. Hopefully his pain will have gone forever and he will go back to his active life. Thank you.